Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the radius of a sphere given its volume. So we've got this first problem here. We have a sphere with volume 100 centimetres cubed and we want to determine its radius. Now we're talking about the volume of a sphere here and in the previous video we looked at what the volume of a sphere was. So it was this formula here. The volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds pi r cubed. So that means 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. Now before we had a radius and we worked out the volume. This time we have the volume and we want to work out the radius. But we use exactly the same method. We still just substitute into this formula. Now we're given the volume of the sphere. It's 100 centimetres cubed. So let's put the 100 there. I tend not to put the units in when I substitute. And then we've got 4 thirds. That just means times by pi and that just means times by the radius cubed. We don't know what the radius is, so let's just make it r. Now, the r cubed has been multiplied by 4 thirds and pi. So we could get rid of the times by pi and the times by 4 thirds by dividing both sides by 4 thirds pi. So let's do that. We have 100 over 4 thirds pi equals, and then we've got rid of that 4 thirds pi to leave just r cubed. And then to get rid of that cubed, we do the opposite, which is cube rooting. So r is going to be the cube root of 100 over 4 thirds pi. And if you put that into your calculator, you get 2.88 centimetres to three significant figures. That's the final answer. What about the second one? The only difference here is that the volume is given in terms of pi. Now, when that happens, you'll typically find that the pi will cancel when you solve the equation. But let's just do the same as we did before. The volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Let's substitute in. Well, the volume is 500 thirds pi. And then we've got 4 thirds pi times by the radius cubed. Again, let's just write r cubed because we don't know what the radius is. Now, we could divide both sides by pi, so let's just cross out the pi's. We could also get rid of these over threes by timesing both sides of the equation by three because we don't like fractions and equations. So, timesing by three gets rid of that over three, leaving just 500. And then the four thirds r cubed times 3 just becomes 4 r cubed. We just times that by 3 to get rid of the 3. So we get 4 r cubed. Now let's think what's going on here. The radius being cubed, then you're timesing by 4 to get 500. So let's undo the last thing we did. We undo the times by 4 by dividing by 4 to give 125 equals r cubed. And then r is just a cube root of 125. So let's do that up here because I've run out of space r is the cube root of 125. Now conveniently 125 is a cube number so we just get 5. And there's no units here that just says units cubed so 5 will do and that is the final answer.